Well, hey guys, it's August 16th, 2023. I'm putting this little clip in the beginning of the video. I know I don't ask for likes and subscribes at the beginning um, because I feel awkward doing that, but I would really appreciate it for those of you who do watch who haven't subscribed yet. Please, please help me out. It's, it's a big, big help. And for those of you who are newer, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button when you see that I've earned it. I work really, really hard at this and it would really help me out a lot. So please, please consider doing that. Even if you don't like what I'm doing, but you see how hard I work, I would be so, so honored if you guys did that for me. All right, all right, take care. Hope you enjoy the video. Lots of heavy rain. <laughs> take care, bye you guys. Well, hello, <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. It is the 16th. Sorry, I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing yesterday because I woke up late and didn't want to miss the doctor appointment. But I just went to the doctor's, got blood drawn, had some other testing done, and I'm going in for an ultrasound, for those of you who care. <laughs> um, yeah, just, uh, you know, I love you guys a lot. You guys are my family, so I don't mind telling you guys what's up. Like. Uh, Let's just say I'm worried about the Lance Armstrong situation. So not cheating in bike races, the other situation. But right now we're getting some rain and it looks like it could turn out to be pretty good. So I wanted to go to our regular spot just to do a kind of a 360 view of everything around us. And then we're gonna go for a drive. We don't go to Fonskin much these days. So I think we're gonna drive around that side of the, or just go around the lake over there. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn around right here though. And just do a quick, uh, just get up on the curb for a moment. I'm gonna hop out for a second, just to show you guys what it's looking like, what's developing right now. Kind of an early development for these storms today. Usually it takes, you know, a little, Radiation or or graph no that's orographic lift radiational heating in our area for it to uh, really start to pop off and that's down the mountain but we're starting to get something here I don't know how good it's going to be yesterday it said it was going to be really good but at this point it's looking like it I don't know. It, it could it could open up it could really open up but yeah this is what we got going on guys oh, my car is so dirty I'm so embarrassed I live on a dirt road so and I'm always driving with my windows down I mean look what happens look at that look at how nasty that is look at how nasty that is Look at that, just absolutely filthy. <clears throat> That's another reason why I, I, I don't wanna drive my brand new car as well, besides the fact that my insurance almost tripled from my very first car accident. It's crazy guys. I have a 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. It's literally, the, it's the most upgraded turbocharged Subaru that you can get and now I can't drive it because I can't afford it. I can hardly afford to pay the monthly payment, which was stressing me out. It was a big mistake to get that car. It like, But I crashed this and it was right before last winter began. And I'm so OCD about these videos that I needed a, a, a car, but my, uh, my uh, immediate gratification and after the guy got me to test drive the nicest Subaru, literally the nicest one, I was just like, oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Like this is, this is beautiful. I'll find a way to make it happen. And literally like, I don't have any money left over at all each month because I, I also help my mom with her car. I have my, my Harley and this car, this car will be paid off and I'll have the pink slip in December. So yeah, I'm, I'm making quite a bit of car payments, but thankfully my rent's so cheap. My rent's like 550 a month, you guys. 
Um, but I moved here in 2015 when everything was really cheap up here. But yeah, it's just a, a huge bummer that I don't get to drive my, my, my new car much because my insurance went from like 90 bucks a month to uh, about 300 a month, like 200%. Like it's just ridiculous, you guys. So I put my new car in storage mode back in February and it just, it just sits in front of my house underneath a tarp, probably getting pelted by pine cones and ah, uh, it's just brutal but it is what it is. I have three years until my insurance will start to go back down again. But between my Harley and this car, because of my accident, it's like $550 a month. It's the same as my rent for my car insurance. When before I was only paying $140 a month total for both, both insurances. And if I keep driving my other Subaru, I'd be just over $800 a month. Like I can, I can't do that right now, you know, like, like, uh, like right now I have no extra funds, zero. And I work my butt off too, but it is what it is. Like I, I work about 60 hours a week on, with my regular job, but I don't, I don't make that, that much money. So someday, someday the people in life who I've known who have become the most successful are, are people who were like me, maybe not the smartest person in the world, but they showed up to work before everybody and left after everybody else. And that's me, I'm always working, always trying to do the best I can. Dude, what is your deal, buddy? Seriously. If I, if I just would've tapped my brakes, this person would've freaking run right into me. But yeah, so that's my that's my situation with my new car. I'm sure you guys were really excited to hear that. I'm sure it transformed your day. It's I, I know you guys woke up this morning and were like, you know what? I really need to hear what's going on with Nick Subaru. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, seriously. Seriously. Seriously, guys. But someday I'll be able to drive it. It, it only has 5,000 miles on it, and I've had it for just, a, just about a year now. Funny enough, I think I was driving it through that massive storm that we had too, driving through huge snow berms, um, not caring, because the whole point of this channel is to give you guys the best info, not protect my vehicle. And thankfully, a few of those snow berms, if you guys remember, that I thought were gonna completely mangle my car, um, they were a lot softer than anticipated. And I was able to run right, right through them without any damage. But within my first week, someone, when I was at the post office, I came out and someone dinged my, my, my quarter panel, like, good they dinged it good there, there was no note left nothing like that and, and this was one week after i got my brand new car my 2023 just such a bummer anyway let's get back to the weather i just wanted to give you guys an update on what's what's going on on my end and in my head right there at that stop sign it really started to pick up that rain did this morning being at the doctor for what I'm there for but it is what it is it's really coming down so the way it looks is by the time we get into fawn skin or kind of over by the dam we're probably gonna lose a lot of this moisture but then when we come back around it should pick back up again 
Very cool, very cool. How's everyone doing today? Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a good mood because I finally had the courage to go to the doctor. And those of you out there who are scared, of, my dad's a doctor, my sister's a doctor. Um, so I, I shouldn't be afraid. I never used to be, but whenever problems like this come up, please guys, I did it. Those of you who are scared, get your butt to the doctor because the longer we wait, the worse off it'll be. These days, if you get caught, if, if, if the C word, the C-A-N-C-E-R gets caught early, there's a good chance you can, you can, you can survive it. So that's why it's never good to put it off. And finally, after two years of on and off pains and stuff like that, I went and now I, I have an ultrasound that they're scheduling. So that'll be the last of my worries and the last of my Mohicans. So go to the doctor. Do it for me if you won't do it for yourselves, please. I love you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. I really wish you guys could spend 10 seconds in my brain so you understand how I truly feel about you guys. You guys are not YouTube fans. You guys are my brothers and sisters. And we support each other. This life is so difficult on, on our own. So having a lot of you there for me, I just want you to know that I'll always be there for you. I'll be there for you. Alright. But yes, I am I am definitely in a more giddy mood than usual. Wow, this is beautiful. This is B E A beautiful. text my best friend and let him know that I'm done. Hey big brother, just wanted to let you know that I am done. I did a bunch of testing and then I'm going in for an ultrasound in about a week. But for some reason I feel a lot better now that I've started the process of seeing what the heck is going on. So just keep me in your thoughts as always. Thank you for sending me words of encouragement this morning. I love you very much, dude. That's my best friend, Curtis. You guys met him on one of the hiking videos. He came up here from Orange County to go hiking and then we went on the, uh, on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the chairlift at Snow Summit. But those were two separate videos. I know my mom's gonna be so relieved that I went. She's gonna be so relieved. But I found out that I have really high blood pressure. It was like 172 over 90. So they're gonna put me on high blood pressure medication. Those of you who've been following me and my story and what's been going on, I went to the ER maybe eight or nine months ago. And uh, again, at the ER, my blood pressure was through the, it, it was like 220 over 105 or something. It was crazy. Um, but, uh, they put me on high blood pressure medication, but I didn't think that I had any, any health insurance. I thought I was going to be paying for that ER visit and I can't afford these things. So I didn't go see a primary care afterwards. And my dad's willing to call me in my, my prescriptions. Um, but I didn't want to keep on taking a high blood pressure medication if I wasn't being monitored. So it is what it is. I, I've been playing, playing with fire, I guess, for a long time now. It is the silent killer. Again, you guys, I know this is a weather channel, but you, you guys mean so much to me. So I hope this isn't irritating you that we're talking about things like this. I want you guys to completely be okay. I don't want any issues for you guys. And I hope my courage today finally inspires some of you to, as I said, 
get off your behind and go to the doctor if you're worried about something. Just do it. If you don't have health insurance, our state offers Medi-Cal, Medicaid, Molina, stuff like that. So please, life is too precious. I got to a point because of my severe depression where I didn't care anymore. I don't want any of you to ever feel that feeling. And I know some of you have, guaranteed. There's 20,000 of you. Guaranteed. I'm always here to talk. I'm always here to chat, sharing each other's stories. And just being there for each other is very, 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 very important, you guys. I believe love can really set us free and really help us get through anything. But my gosh, this rain is just ridiculous. Fawn skin! Hello, fawn skin! Something that was pretty cool is the, the person who checked me in at the hospital knows me from the from this channel. The person drawing blood knows me from this channel. The, um, pretty cool stuff. Like it's, it's, and everyone has good things to say. I'm sure they're not going to say anything bad to my face, but I don't mind. Like I know I'm annoying sometimes. One person actually, when, uh, he was like, you look familiar. And I was like, yeah, I, I do th these YouTube videos. He's like, oh, so, so you're, you're that schmuck that drives around and blah, 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 blah. But like all serious. And like, I was like, Whoa! like, geez Louise, bro. Like, but we're good friends now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and now he watches, he watches regularly because he met me. So, I mean, if you watch the channel, you'll see what this channel is all about. It's just about love and just trying just to, you know, be the best me that I can be and we all love each other man like there's there's nothing wrong with this channel again I know I can be extremely annoying though but there's nothing nefarious about this channel nothing bad but I put myself in that dude's shoes because I have to be honest when I've watched in the past other people's YouTube channels that were like somewhat successful. I don't even consider our channel a successful one because it's only got 20,500 subscribers. But um, I would sometimes out of jealousy, I think, not because I wanted a channel, but because I was trying to find my way in life and seeing other people making videos and apparently being successful you know, like, uh, like I was a hater for some odd reason. And now that I understand the work that is put into lots of these channels, even though I've, I've seen a ton of YouTube channels, guys that have like 50 or 60 videos and the people have like millions of sub millions of subscribers. I've got 3,300 videos and I don't even have over 20,500 subscribers, but that's okay. I appreciate the efforts that is put in to these channels, especially when it's channels that are as authentic as you can get. And I guarantee you guys, this is as authentic as it gets. There's hardly any editing. What you see is what you get. And I'm never gonna change that. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sell out. I mean, I, I feel like in this past year that I've started asking you guys to hit the like and subscribe button, I feel like that's been selling out. And it's been bothering me, you guys, a lot. A lot. It's been really, really bothering me. But I can assure you guys, if this channel keeps on growing, I promise you I'm never going to change. I'm always going to be the same annoying, lovable guy that I've always been. I'll still have the same sense of humor. I won't develop an ego or anything like that. I have a passion for what I do. And if I can help anybody that's what my goal is wow it's really coming down oh. Woo. 
ride. My best friend got back to me. Holy smokes. on camera but it was right there I'll try and be quiet so we can hear the thunder but because of the pounding of the rain I don't think we will yeah. 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 Guys, this is really crazy. This is a lot of rain for these clouds. Come on, rain. Last month, because of our friend BB on this channel, BB told me that we lost about an inch from the lake, which is nothing. I Was it an inch in the last month, BB? I think that's what you said. And then our good friend Gabriel Magania, I have him on my text messages right there. He, he, by the way, texted me to wish me good luck at the doctor today. I love you, Gabriel. I love you, man. Um, he's the one who sends us the reports for the lake levels. He doesn't curate them or create them. He just finds them for me from a Big Bear uh, site, and then he sends it to me. So Gabriel, I love you a lot for doing that for me, brother. Oh my gosh, it's pouring inside the car. Why is Highway 18 closed? You know what's frustrating, you guys, is a lot of times when it's closed like this, or any of the highways up here are closed, I never notice any signs. So I'm always driving all the way to get here and then you have to be turned around. And if you have any appointments down the mountain, it's, it's a pain in the butt. I got another friend wishing me well. Thanks, Marvin. I love you very much, man. Thank you. The concern is, I'm worried that I have the Lance Armstrong issue. I shouldn't say that because I'm probably manifesting it into reality by constantly thinking it and believing it, but that's what my concern is. So just keep me in your thoughts and prayers, my brother. I would appreciate that. And hopefully we can golf in a couple days. Love you very much, Marvin, and thanks again for that wonderful barbecue the other day. You are as good of a man as I know. Okay, so we're on Highway 18. I don't know if it's considered Big Bear Boulevard yet, but we're on Big Bear Boulevard. And the rain is letting up. The rain is letting up. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Oh, yes it is. I was hoping they weren't going to have me do an ultrasound. I'm sorry, guys, that I keep on selfishly talking about me and my health and my medical stuff. I'm really not trying to be selfish. I am the furthest from be from a selfish person that you'll ever know. I mean, it's so bad how unselfish I am that it I've, I put myself out a lot because I'm always worried about other people and other people's happiness and... It's a detriment to me. Hey, if 
you guys want a really good song to listen to, I just heard it for the first time maybe a month ago. And I used to be well known up here for my singing. When I sing in the car, guys, I'm just, I'm just like intentionally messing around. I'm, I'm not putting any effort into it, but I'm actually known for my singing up here. And uh, since I've been married, I haven't gone out to do any karaoke at all. But there's a song that I heard that like just brought me, brought me to my knees, brought so many tears to my eyes. It's called Monsters. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's a song about his father is going through some some terminal medical stuff, and uh, oh man, what is his name? You know what? I'm gonna look it up real quick because you guys need to watch the music video. Monsters music song. James Blunt, you guys, it's James Blunt. You have got to do yourself a huge favor and, w and watch that music video and listen to the lyrics. It's, it'll, if you have even the smallest heart, I promise you, it's, it's gonna sweep you, sweep you into weeping. I guarantee you, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. So it's called Monsters by James Blunt. But my whole point of, of bringing it up is I've got a karaoke machine at my house. And so, you know, I was singing it the other day and I couldn't even get through it because it, I was so emotional singing it. has pretty much ceased. It has ceased. Here's Boulder Bay Park. I'm telling you guys, you need to listen to that song. Since I mentioned it three different times, please do me that favor. Watch it on YouTube, James Blunt. The song is called Monsters. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And we'll have a little challenge. You know, if you, if you can't hold back the tears, then I won the challenge. I'm not trying to get people depressed. Please don't think that, that's not my goal here. I just want you guys to hear something spectacular. So beautiful. And the good news is, you guys, from what I heard, because I did a little research into the song afterwards, is that the treatments for his father ended up working. So I think his father is still, still with us, but this song was when his father was very sick. And uh, he actually has his father in the music video. It's, it's so beautiful. want to hear one of the lines to it I'll try to sing it I'll try to sing it again I'm probably gonna lose subscribers over this but you know what it's not what this channel was about anyway but I I hope people wouldn't unsubscribe but oh you know what I'm I'm not gonna sing it or maybe I will Nah, I won't I was just gonna sing the chorus I can remember it. Like to hear it, here it go. You remember that from in, in Living Color? Like to hear it, here it go. That was one of my favorite shows ever in Living Color. So here's the Alpine slide. You, you guys, in about two months, there could be snow up there. 
That's how Oprah would say it. There could be snow up there. Dobra. Hey, Dobra. <clears throat> I'm not your son. You're not my father. We're just two grown men saying goodbye. No need to forget. No need to forget. I know your mistakes and you know mine. And while you're sleeping, I'll try to make you proud. So, Daddy, don't you just close your eyes. Don't be afraid. It's my turn to chase the monsters away. So again, that's like that's the chorus. It's 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 just spectacular. Anyways, we're in the village, you guys. In the beautiful Big Bear Village. I love this place. Listen to how quiet it is. It is so quiet. Tomorrow my motorcycle's being picked up since I got a brand new engine and a brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit because I, I had the extended warranty and my engine blew up with only 10,000 miles. But since they put a brand new engine in, um, with a brand new engine, after a thousand miles you need to have some, some major services done, the oil changed, stuff like that. And the cool thing is, is I paid for some sort of a special service program where they'll come and pick up my bike on a truck so I don't have to drive it all the way to Riverside and then they will take care of what needs to be taken care of and then bring the bike back. And another cool thing is that I also purchased the Tires for Life program. So as long as I own this Harley, I get free free tires. And the tires for this Harley are not cheap. I think for, for, for the two tires, it's almost a thousand bucks. I think, don't quote me on it, but I get them for free. Well, obviously it's not free. I paid for them initially with my, when I financed the, the vehicle, it was part of the options when you go back into F&I. Hey, You guys, thank you for everything. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, we are leaving Big Bear's Village. across here to make a left-hand turn and we are going to the post office because I haven't picked up my mail in a while. So bear with me a moment. Just give me a moment. Just a moment in time. All right, hang tight. Thanks again. Seriously, guys, thank you again for being part of my life, sharing this experience with me. I love you guys so much. I really wish you understood. So just hang tight. I'll be right back. There's the post office, there it is. All right. Okay. So, I want to thank our good friend, Three Aces. Three Aces sent me some Harley Davidson um, bells, bells and whistles, you could say. Some stuff that he, he had for a while. And he wanted to give it to me because he didn't have any use for it. So I appreciate you very much. And by the way, those of you um, who have been watching this channel for a long time, I used to, every single donation I get, make a personalized video for the person who sent me the donation. 
And unfortunately, a lot of people, they were getting super irritated with it because I was making a lot of those videos and it was interrupting your day and stuff like that. And uh, I felt bad about that, but it, it, it meant so much to me to do personal thank you videos for every single donation I would get. So about about nine months ago, eight, eight or nine months ago, I stopped doing the individual thank you videos, and I just want every, 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 you know all of you to know that I am very very grateful. I don't want you to think that I'm not grateful because I stopped doing those. Uh, it was a request from numerous people who were saying, "Bro, it's blowing up my notifications. Like, please, can you do something about that?" So, um, what I was doing is this last winter. Most most of the winter, I was thanking the people sending donations during the regular videos. Um, just saying a big thank you and I love you during the videos. So I don't want you guys to um, think that um, I'm selfish and that that I don't care because I do care a lot, a lot. And it's uh, that's why I would make a personalized video for every single donation and and. I'm very, very blessed because it it was a lot of donations. It you know, you know five bucks here, fifty bucks there, twenty bucks here, a hundred bucks there. But there was a lot of them. So um, thank you guys. I am so grateful, never unthankful. And uh, yeah, I just wanted everyone to understand why you're not seeing those videos anymore. Is because you guys, many of you guys, requested that I stopped doing those. Um, so, as I said, I do, I still do thank you guys um, during the regular videos in the winter time because that's when I get a ton of donations. And I'll tell you what, guys, those donations have been so helpful. And I, I like, honestly, uh, some of the months they would actually help me to get through to pay all my bills because um, I'd be a few hundred bucks short a lot of months because I have a lot of bills just just like a lot of you have a lot of bills I'm I'm nothing special I'm just very very honored that people choose to help me out like that and for the longest time I used to think that I did what did I do to deserve this you know because I never ask you guys on any video say like hey if can you guys please help help us out like of course I could use it we all can but I never ask I have in the description of all the videos my Venmo and my cash app and stuff in case people do want to help and my goodness like it's 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 pretty remarkable how many people send me donations in the winter time so thank you thank you thank you and again I wish everyone could get these donations you know I feel really really bad about it because I know a lot of us need help we we need big time help and again I'm just so honored and so blessed that you guys choose to help me out because I do something that's worthwhile for you guys that makes you guys happy and is somewhat in, um, informative so that's very 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 special to me that you guys want to help me out because I'm apparently helping you out so thank you but yeah, that's my situation regarding the donations and why you guys haven't heard anything about the personalized thank you videos. Um, this time of year, I don't really get many, if any at all. It's a, it's a, the best donations that I get on a daily basis are the comments. I love the comments. I love them. So keep those coming, you guys. I'll ask for those any day. Keep those coming. But I have a hard time asking for the financial stuff. Because I feel like a total bum and a total loser asking. But yeah, so that's why. And we are almost done with this video. We're going to drive into Moon Ridge a little bit. We're going to go through both the roundabouts and come back uh, past the Big Bear Zoo. The zoo in Moon Ridge. The Moon Ridge Zoo. And then we're going to be done. So, if you guys really do enjoy what I do, and if you realize how much effort I put into this, 
and the fact that I pretty much respond to all the comments. Um, yeah, please hit that subscribe button for me. Do me a huge solid. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, if you have extra time, maybe like share it to your Facebook or something like that. Because yeah, it 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 really does help the channel grow. I didn't realize how much it helps, but it really does help. And uh, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more live videos for you guys because um, I really enjoy that. I enjoy talking to you guys right then and there instead of having to respond. So that's a pretty awesome um, method of chatting with you guys is doing those live feeds. So I was going to do that today for this, but maybe on the next rain video or the next thunderstorm video, I will do a live feed so we can, you know be there with each other personally at the exact time. I think that would that would be pretty pretty darn special. Because you guys are very special. Alright. So if we have any lightning on this little trip right here, it's gonna be right there. It is gonna be right there. We had one lightning bolt earlier when we were in the Fonskin area, kind of in between the dam and Fonskin. But yeah, I can never thank you guys enough for all the loving support. Um, thank you for all the information you guys give me. You guys help me out with so much. You guys help me out with so much. So much information and stuff that you would think I would know living here and doing what I do. I don't. And you guys help me out. You guys give me the answers to a lot of my questions. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you dearly. And uh, yeah, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for me. Um, if I've earned it. And until next time, you guys, I love you with all my heart. Thank you for listening to me ramble on and on and on. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I love you guys. And keep me in your thoughts, please. I got the ultrasound coming in about a week or so, so maybe two weeks. So keep me in your thoughts, and I will keep you guys posted. I love you guys very much. Until next time, it's August 16th, 2023. Rain and thunderstorms in Big Bear. Take care, guys. Bye.